dollar for dollar, this is a solid value. Yes, there are better competing product available, but they are many times more expensive than this one. I removed the outer elastic shell loops, as seen in photos, instead I took advantage of the velcro loop material. I placed velcro shell holder with hook backing in the inside of the pouch. Be advised the foam slash neoprene cheek material lifts your eye level about one eighth of an inch, it is very comfortable on my face. I bought two to try out, after a short time of using them I can say they are excellent for the price point. This pouch is awesome for carrying extra ammo especially to while worrying about coyotes while deer hunting. It is able to hold extra rounds in my 4 round mag useful to keep the mag dry and clean while walking. It's a sweet addition to my 770, 308 and it was very simple to install. It may take some adjustments to fit your sling lug or shape of the stock. The Velcro seems to fit most stocks. I also have a similar pouch on my shotgun that I hate so I will be ordering another for my Mossberg. Thanks Hunter Speciality's great product. What an amazing and comfortable ammo pouch for your shotgun stock. Hunter Spec did a good job on this one. The Velcro straps make this adjustable for just about any stock. The soft leather suede material feels good on my cheek riser. The zipper bag holds 12 shells and tools plus 3 on the side. I installed this on a Mossberg 500 with ATI folding collapsible stock and it's perfect. You cannot beat the price. I bought two more and plan on getting the rifled version. Well it looks great on my Ruger American Ranch and holds up great. Nice soft cheek rest. Very happy with the product. Holds 5.7. 62x39 no problem. Fits. It works great. I got it for my 1022 and it fits like a glove and looks great on the rifle. I would recommend it for any rifle. The fit is great. Pulled together my rifles look perfectly. Fits about 100 round of 22 in the pouch, room for more, and a solid 10 rounds outside. Snug not too worried they'll fly out. The adjustable straps are the winner here. Buy it. You won't be sorry. Shown shop a little Badger 22 LR a few handmade mods. 10 tenths. I bought this more for the pouch than the shell holder, as I put it on a Marlin Model 60. 22. It looks a little bulky on the small stock but it secures very well, with no movement. I put together a small cleaning kit Allen wrench, boar snake, patches, oil, knife, etc., to throw in. I also put about 40 extra rounds into a medicine bottle which fit into the pouch perfectly. The cheek piece raises your eye in line with the sights slash scope as well. Smooth transaction with seller, and arrived quickly. You'll be buying another when I pick up my new rifle in a couple of weeks. Fits my Savage 110 7mm Rem Mag. Very snug and comfortable. Material seems of good quality. Perfect for carrying extra round when hog hunting. Exactly what I was looking for. It fits my American Ranch 300 perfectly. Suede feels nice and smooth up zipper up material nice straps weak velcro inside support kind of cardboardish overall nice product put on my Savage Mark II FVSR with a 3 quarters inch rubber hose as a riser. Fits and feels great. Wish there was no logo and ammo holder on outside though. You can adjust this thing any way you want. From big guns to small guns. It holds my battery perfect for night shots. I will be buying another. Was easy to put on and to adjust. For the price, this is awesome. I've had others for more money and this is just as good if not better. Plenty of adjustability available. 
Installed on a stock Remington 700 SPS Tactical. Love it. This is a nice pouch, shell holder and cheek rest. I just received it and put it on a 1022 takedown. The cheek rest is nice and soft and gives a little rest. You could probably work out some other padding to go underneath if you wanted to raise it more. I only have 4 10 round magazines, actually, since at the moment I'm in NYC they are 5 round magazines, but otherwise still the same, all of which fit easily. It would not be difficult to get 7 magazines in there. Possibly 8, maybe you could get 9, but 7 for sure with room to spare. Also worth noting that the inside of the pouch, on the stock side is the soft slash loop side of Velcro, so you could attach other shell holders or whatever in there securely. The outside elastic shell holders can fit too. 22LR card. It would stay in there under most circumstances, but I would use those upside down ones first. 223 fifths. 56 cartridges should fit easily and I would suspect cartridges in the 30 calories ranges would, too. Dot 410 bore shot shells should fit. I don't know about 28 ga. Definitely not 20 ga or 12 ga. So for a 1022, that's one in the chamber, full mag loaded, 7 by 10 in the pouch, 10 in the loops equals 91 rounds on the rifle at a minimum. More if you don't need so many spare mags and just drop in boxes of 50, of which you could probably get 4 plus a spare magazine. That might get you closer to 231 rounds, 4 by 50 boxes plus 10 spare mag plus 10 loaded mag plus 10 shell loops plus 1 chamber. Nice. All of the Velcro straps are highly adjustable allowing you to squeeze down good and hard on smaller stocks. I will try it on a Rossi matched pair youth and report back. As the 1022 takedown lacks sling mounts, you could rig up some sling connection to this for the stock side. Certainly for barrel up carrying. It makes sure it was very securely fashioned before attempting barrel down and it should be fine. For the front mount, get the replacement barrel band with the sling mount and two little Picatinny rails. It's aluminum instead of the original plastic and you can the mount a flashlight. Curse you Ruger for not including sling mounts for the takedown model. As other have mentioned, there is a sort of big logo rearward of the external shell loops. Just cut the stitches and it's gone. See my photos for greater detail. I think I will get one of these for every rifle. Update 9 slash 29 slash 15 I ordered a second one of these already. Click link in description for more reviews.